tell you what our week is all about. Let's go! Today we get to officially check in, get our official sashes, and many different goodie bags. We also get to go to the trade show, which has many different items that are heavy girls love, such as dresses and different princess camp bags. Let's go! So I'm here at the trade show with many different gowns, talent costumes, jewelry, and anything a pageant girl could want. I'm here with Trish, who designs many different talent costumes, jewelry, gowns, pretty much everything. So Trish, how long have you been designing? Um, I've been doing this for about three to four years. Well, I see that there's a lot of sparkle on your talent costumes, and I like that. <laughs> so, um, you're from New Hampshire. From New Hampshire, yeah. So, that's not too far from where I'm from. I just had to stop with this one because it's kind of one of my favorite Miss America pieces. And also the first winner of, of this year's pageant, Jack Thompson. So what was it like um, sponsoring this? It was amazing. She is such a wonderful person. Very thankful. Very beautiful, as you know. So it was great. And I only heard good things about her, so I hope to eventually meet her someday and hopefully be just like her. Oh, and I'm sure you will. She is a great person. So that's it from the trade show. After we did our shopping, I had a chance to talk to the person in charge of the princess camp. I'm here with Jennifer, who is the princess camp director. She coordinates all of our fun activities for the week. So, Jennifer, how long have you been doing the princess camp? I've been involved with the Miss America's Outstanding Teen Pageant for the past five years, and I've been the Princess Director for three years now. Wow. It seems like a lot of kids. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of kids. There's a lot of princesses running around, that's for sure. So I know that you competed, so can you tell us a little bit about that? I did. I competed on the team level and won Team Miss North Carolina, but they didn't have the, the Miss America's Outstanding Teen Program back in 1995, which was a really long time ago. Um, so it, it's a wonderful organization that gives teenagers the opportunity to compete on a national stage, which I certainly wish was around when I was a teenager. So how was your Miss America experience? It was amazing. Uh, I was, I competed at Miss America when it was in Atlantic City. Uh, now, as you know, it's in Las Vegas. Uh, but it was an amazing experience. We were in rehearsals, and those were really long and sometimes got boring, but being on stage like that, there's just nothing like it. And being on TV is just something that you'll never forget. Well, it sounds super fun, and I can't wait to do that someday. Thank you. You'll be there. You'll definitely be there. That night, it was time to head to the first of three nights of preliminary competition. But as a national princess, we didn't arrive like everybody else. We got to walk the pink carpet in front of everybody. After the show, I caught up with my good friend, Miss Connecticut's outstanding teen, Janie Cohen Lefebvre. She started off the week really well. She won the Teens in Action Award the first night. It was a great way to kick off the week. during the week, along with the people that came to Orlando to support her. It was great to spend so much time with so many important people from Connecticut. So I'm here with Mr. Preet, the Executive Director of the Miss Connecticut Scholarship Organization. So Mr. Preet, how long have you been in, involved with Miss America? Well, it's a little over 30 years. Um, four years as ED, actually three and a half. I took over Midway uh, four years ago. And this is my third full year, and I'm up for re-election next year, if they'll have me. We'll see what happens. And I remember that 
you were a parent. So what is it like being trans, tr sort of going from being a parent to then being the executive director? It's fairly different, I would think. It's very different, and I'm going to relay a little story to you. When I applied for my 30-year volunteer pin, I included the year of service as Marla's dad as one of my years, and they took it away because they said that the year that you were the parent of Miss Connecticut and not involved in the organization didn't count. And when I said to them, that was the hardest of 30, they kind of chuckled, but they still didn't count it. So I have to reapply again this year to see if I can get my 30-year bill. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Brief, for your time. Um, and I'll maybe talk to you later tonight. It's a pleasure. Thanks so much for taking it. You're a little sweetheart. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I also got to see so many other great people. I had the chance to meet Miss America, Laura Kepler. She was even at my official crowning ceremony. There were also four former Miss Americas here this week, and I got a chance to talk to a couple of them. So I'm here at Teresa's family, Miss America 2011. So, Teresa, if you have any advice for me, right, and what would you like to Absolutely. I think, first and foremost, the most important thing to remember is that every single day, you're an example of the people around you. And that doesn't matter how old you are, because I remember when I was younger thinking, oh, you know, Miss America is way down the line when I'm so much older. You never know when things like that are going to happen, and you always want to be the person that you want to be right now. So girls that dream of being Miss America someday should be acting like Miss America each and every day, treating those around them with love and respect and being a shining example in everything they do. And along with that, I always say work hard every single day at everything that you do. Don't think, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Don't think that eventually I'm going to, whatever it may be, you know, if you play an instrument, always play it with all your heart and continue working hard. Be dedicated to school and work hard at school and find those things that you love and just go all at it and be passionate about whatever it is that really makes you happy. Well, thank you for your time and uh, talk to you guys later. Thank you. So here with Erica Dunlap, Miss America 2000. Erica, what advice would you give girls my age who are competing and want to be like Miss America? Well, I am just amazed that you are such a journalist. I mean, you are quite, you're giving Katie Curry a run for a money. Um, but my biggest piece of advice for girls that are your age are to um, just really stay focused on your goal. Whatever your goal may be, stay focused on that. Um, the Miss America team program and the Miss America program is really great. And it has given me so much confidence and so much ability to do all the things that I've wanted to do. But more than that, you have to really believe in yourself in order to get to that place. So just keep believing in yourself. Know um, that your goals can be accomplished. I never thought when I was your age, well, I was nine when I first watched Miss America on television. And I just remember watching and thinking, oh my gosh, I want to be just like her one day. And I never knew that it would actually happen. And that the Miss America that I watched be crown for the first time, She's one of my dearest friends and one of my mentors, and it's it's really like living a dream come true. So it can absolutely happen. You just have to believe in it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. One of the best parts of the week was when I got to go to SeaWorld. I got to spend a lot of time with my new friends, including Annie from Mississippi and Sophia from Illinois. Annie convinced me to go on the Manta, which was my first upside down roller coaster. I liked it so much, we went on it twice. We also got to feed dolphins and see the big show with the world famous killer whale, Shamu. We all had a great time. Finally, it was time to go to the final show of pageant week. Connecticut got off to a great start when Janie was announced as one of the first four semifinalists. Janie performed for the judges again and she got closer and closer to the finals. But before the winners were announced, all the princesses performed on stage in front of everyone. Then it was time to see who won. Janie was the first runner-up. Rachel Yuki Wyatt from South Carolina won the title. We were all so excited for Janie, I could barely talk after the show. I was screaming so loud. She made us all so proud. I hope you enjoyed your behind-the-scenes tour of the Miss America's Outstanding Team Competition at Christmas Camp. I made a lot of great friends, and it's a great mentoring program for all girls. I'm Tara Lynch, one last time from Orlando, and you can follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash girls.